Hi everyone, so I'm actually back in Lauterbrunnen and um, last time we were here there was another waterfall that I wanted to go see and we just didn't have time so we're gonna go there today and check it out and um, I'll show you what it looks like there because I didn't get to film it last time and just look at this stunning view. Isn't this amazing? And I have the camera on wide angle right now because so just so you can see all the scenery. Look at this guys, I'm in a field of flowers. Oh my god, doesn't this look like a freaking postcard? Look! Oh! This is so beautiful and they smell so nice that it's only like this for a very short time in May before they cut the flowers. Oh my god, it's so pretty! I just feel like I'm in the biggest cliche postcard ever with these flowers in the back. Look at that. It smells really good. Actually, it smells really nice. It smells like fresh wildflowers behind me. So here at the entrance, there's just a sign that talks a little bit about the Tümmelbach Felle. Ten cascades inside the mountain rendered accessible with a tunnel lift and illuminated. The Tümmelbach alone drains the mighty glaciers of Eiger, Mönch and Jungfrau. To those of you who don't know, Eiger, Mönch and Jungfrau are some of the most famous mountains here in the region. And, you know, the Eiger is like mountain climbing and um, they're huge mountains and this waterfall is basically the drain out of the glaciers. So I hope you guys don't mind, I'm going to be filming a lot with this kind of angle because the scenery is just so beautiful and I can't fit it in without the wide angle. And now we're walking to the Trümmelbach Felle, so that's the Trümmelbach waterfall. Oh, there's a little creek. Oh, it's just so gorgeous here. It's like a freaking postcard. I can't, I'm gonna say that probably 50 times in this vlog. I'm in a postcard! But, oh my god, look at these. This is like the best time to go. Look. Oh, flowers. And now we're in this lift to go up. We're gonna go with the funicular. Ooh, actually that's cool. <laughs> Going up the tunnel. This is cool. So now we're just coming out. A lot of, a lot of people. So now we're going up further. Ooh, I feel like such a tourist <laughs> in my own country. It's like my backyard. Oh well. Hopefully you guys can hear me now. It's quite loud where the waterfall is. And the waterfall is like inside a canyon. So it's very cool. Look at this.
So now we're going down this walkway, which is, there's a, you can go down the lift again, but I just want to walk down because you get just stellar views of Lauterbrunnen with the other waterfalls over there. I actually have a video where I go to one of those other waterfalls. I'll link that below if I can remember. I think what's so impressive about it is that there's so much water coming. It's not just like a little waterfall. It's just like rushing, plunging waterfall. And I think that's what makes it really, really interesting. There's this word in German, Naturschauspiel, which is like nature's, like a theater of nature, I guess, which is means that it's just like an amazing, impressive sight due to something happening in nature. And that's exactly what it is and oh it's just crazy and we picked the perfect day for it it's like absolutely nice weather i just can't stop saying wow because <laughs> it really is just phenomenal and if you take the lift you miss it so take the lift up and then if you want and then walk down because there's more waterfalls to see on the way down i love how frizzy my hair is now because of the water <laughs> at this little cafe right at the entrance of the falls and we just got um, a little bit of cake but look at this mm, so we got a cheesecake here look how freaking small this slice is it's like minuscule and then this huge chocolate tart which looks amazing this was the same price I mean just look at the size comparison this and this was the same price and this is like half as big as this ridiculous total ripoff but this looks really good this was 750 that's a ripoff. Never again. $7.50 for a cheesecake. Okay, so now we've just driven a bit further out of the valley. Kind of the way we came and we're just going on a little walk. And this is the river where the... So the waterfall empties out. And this is the river. So we're just walking along here. And the, the waterfalls are back there. Cold. There's some bikers coming. This is a really cool place to go biking. It would be really cool. Maybe next time we'll go by bike. Because we just got our bike pumped up. I love biking, but the only thing is when I sit on the saddle for really long, it really hurts my bum. Like, you know the bone, like your pelvis bone? It really hurts the day after. But I think we want to do some more biking trips, and then you can pack a lunch. I'm just standing here at the river, you can see behind me. And they apparently they have trout here, like these ones. So. Here's the water coming down. Woo! And then this is, I guess, where they uh, help the fish who are spawning and stuff. So they put them back in the water. Oh, that would be one hell of a jump for a trout. Oh, 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 oh. Just going along this path a bit more. So look, I just picked a bunch of flowers. Woo! A nice bouquet. And before you give me grief, <laughs> there are plenty more flowers here. There's just millions of them, so it's not like I'm ruining the ecosystem. Look, I'm gonna take it home, and then I have a, a nice memory of the day. I love wildflowers like that. I like it more than sort of the roses and stuff, the ones that are grown to sell. I would much rather get a bouquet like this. <laughs> so we just went grocery shopping at Lidl in Interlaken and um, got some groceries for the weekend. Gonna have a nice barbecue tonight and I think now we're driving home and then have a margarita or something on our porch or on our balcony. Yay! So look I just put the flowers into a vase. I think this vase is almost a bit too small but isn't that pretty? Look at that bouquet. Some of them are already kind of flopping down, but I just put them in water, so I'm hoping that they're gonna recover a bit. And look here on this side, I found some, some daisies too. Ooh, we set up our hammock. Look, I haven't even showed you this, but we have a hammock now. It's really cool. And it's definitely stable enough. You can swing in it, look. I don't wanna lie in it, because I just have to get out again, but woo. 
So now we're just grilling food. Let me just get out of here. We're making, what are we making? Chicken and sausage and vegetables and potatoes. We've got our grill here. Look, yum. Some cheese. This is a lot, but we're really hungry. We really haven't eaten much today. So we've got our table set up. Bjorn's watching hockey. <laughs> And then a little wildflowers. In the oven we have the potatoes and the um, veggies. Bjorn, how are the veggies? Good. Hopefully my music's not, this video's not gonna be again, get banned because of the music. But down here are potatoes. Ooh. So I cannot wait to eat. It smells really good. And I'm starving at this point. So now we're just getting ready to eat. These are the vegetables that we're grilling, the Mediterranean vegetables, and then these are the best damn roast potatoes. I should really film a video recipe for these because they're so good. Then these are sausages, and this is like a grill cheese kind of thing. And then we've got a little bit of chicken too, but I can't wait to dig in. So we're just playing some cards with the candlelight because the sun is going down. Oh yeah, this is our balcony in the evening when the lights go on. I got these um, fairy lights. These are I got it, these at Ikea at Christmas time. Like after Christmas, they were on sale for like four francs. So I got those. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful sunset. And then over here, the mountains. They're kind of pink right now. It's really nice. I think I'm going to actually finish the, log, the vlog now because we're just playing cards out here and, and stuff and having a nice evening. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I really hope to do more vlogs and um, yeah, I love doing stuff on the weekend like that. I mean, I just, I was talking to those Chinese guys last time when they were here, like the business people, you know, I said, oh, what do you guys do on the weekend in China? And they just, because they live in Shanghai and they said, oh, is there anywhere in Shanghai where you can, you know, go and do stuff outside? And they said, no, not really. They just go shopping. And I was like, oh, that's so sad in a way, because for me, just going shopping on the weekends, it's just so boring. Like I'd rather just spend time doing stuff outside and I don't know, enjoying nature and everything. I'll see you guys later. Bye.